Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. We're going to cover the magic of weight shift control trike aerodynamics. The science for aerodynamics is the same for airplanes and for weight shift control trikes. The difference is that the weight shift control trike does not have a tail. It's a flying wing with the undercarriage attached to a pivot on the wing. Few have been able to figure out the magic of how a flying wing works, so that's what we're going to work on here. We have mastered how to eliminate the pulleys, wires, rods, movable control surfaces into a simple flex wing. Since many of the concepts are like an airplane and similar to an airplane, we're going to be comparing the airplane and the weight shift control trike. But be assured, we're going to cover the magic of the aerodynamic principles of the weight shift control trike so you can understand that trike and be a better pilot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through our basic training syllabus here. So we're going to start off and look at uh, forces acting on an aircraft, all forces overview, lift versus weight, thrust versus drag. Then we're going to go down and cover all of our forces. We've got our weight. Of course, that's pretty easy. We've got our lift. We've got our drag. We've got our thrust. And then once we look at all the basic forces, we're going to look how all forces interact with each other. And down here in the control, this is where it gets uh, really interesting. This is where the weight shift control really deviates from the airplane here when we talk about the control and how we look at wing twist. Also, what's fascinating about the weight shift is the stability, how it can stay stable without a tail. We're going to go over all that, and we're going to cover stalls and spirals. So that's going to cover our whole course there. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a lot of the diagrams in the book I wrote for the FAA, the Weight Shift Control Aircraft Flying Handbook. This has great diagrams, which you'll see as we go through here. This is a fundamental book you're going to need to read pretty much cover to cover for flying the trike. Additionally, what we're going to do, we're going to pull a bunch of figures and use a bunch of figures from the Weight Shift Control Aircraft Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. This is generally considered the ground school for the Weight Shift Control Trike. This book is specifically for the weight shift control trike. So what I did is I just rewrote the airplane flying handbook specifically for the trikes. So we're just going to start here with an overview of the forces. We've got our weight, our lift, our drag, and our thrust. And if we notice that our lift and our weight are much greater than our drag and our thrust. So what we're going to do here for simplicity, we're going to assume that the weight is a thousand pounds.